What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And in this video, I wanted to go over all of the upcoming weeks for the spotlight caches, and I wanted to give you my opinions on what to maybe, maybe use your caches for. All right, there's a brand new system, and I know a bunch of people are making videos about this, but I just wanted to throw in my two cents. All of us creators are gonna have different opinions on these things, which cards are gonna be good, which ones you should skip. And these spotlight patches are like the brand new valuable resource. So I always recommend like take in as much information as possible so you can make the best decisions, all right? So before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, make sure you subscribe ring that notification bell all right we make a ton of marvel snap content here so if you're interested in like the competitive aspect ranking up the ladder playing conquest mode you definitely want to subscribe ring that notification bell we just passed 10,000 subscribers we have an awesome community here we have a discord community down in the description below and make sure you follow me on twitter at bootman mstz as i give away season passes i give away three of these bad boys for free every single month all right but you got to be subscribed got to follow me on twitter and if you would like follow me over on threads too it's at bootman mstz same thing i might start doing some stuff over on threads i've been posting over there but you know you know how the thing goes all right <clears throat> so anyways let's jump into this i'll switch my view real quick all right let's get rid of that little untapped tracker so uh yeah these were data mined all right this was data mined and uh a few different websites have this posted, but I'm going to be using MarvelSnapZone.com. Marvel Snap Zone, they're pretty good at posting all the new stuff. So these are going to be all the upcoming weeks, all right? <clears throat> so this first week, we had Jean Grey and Null Living Tribunal. I kind of discussed this a little bit. Uh, I made a video about Jean Grey. Wasn't wasn't too hyped about her. Uh, I, I started using that KK Sparkles deck. Much better card, all right? So <clears throat> now, Null and Living Tribunal. If you don't have Null, okay? Feel free to get them, all right? If you still haven't opened up your caches and you're like on the fence, feel free to get them. If if you're a fan of Destroy decks, if you're a fan of uh, Galactus decks, you're gonna need Null, all right? Go for it. Um, and yeah, basically, if you already have Null, you're gonna get the variant. Uh, if you already have Living Tribunal, you'll get the variant. If not, you'll get the card instead, all right? So Living Tribunal, I love this card. I love, love, love this card. It's still uh, a great card to steal eight cubes. The thing is, it's very difficult to set up your combos, all right? So if you if you don't mind like, you know, retreating a lot until you have your like combo set up, like this this card, Living Tribunal, it steals cubes. It's a great card, all right? Um, it's just not very consistent, okay? So coming up next week, we have Echo. We have Echo, Iron Lad, and Kang, okay? So Echo, um, I will be making a video about Echo, like a really deep dive. So make sure you're following me on Twitter. Uh, I can't say too much about this uh, new video I'm doing, but anyways, make sure you're following me on Twitter so you don't miss when I make this video. But I've had to do a lot of research um, about Echo and like, I'm very excited for this card. I'm super duper excited for this card. Um, the card does seem a little meta dependent, but what I will say is Echo is gonna be one of these cards where uh you don't see how impactful it is all right i'll dive more in depth into this in another video but like think of it like an ice man a cork a rock slide when echo's doing its job you're not gonna see it because nobody in their right mind is gonna see echo and then lay down like a devil dino or whatever so those of you who don't know what echo does basically she removes the ongoing ability of any card that's played in that lane all right, so if you see Echo there, you're just not gonna play there, right? So I do think it'll be a great card right now based on the meta, I think she's only gonna really be good with like Wong lists, which can be pretty good, um, just so it, it makes sure that they, hit, they don't Cosmo it, but I think it'll be a decent card. If you're into tech cards, go for it. She will be a 5,000 token card. So my strategy, I'm a whale, all right? I'm a, swimming around the oceans, just whaling it up, okay? I have like 30,000 tokens, so kind of what I'm gonna be doing with some other whales are doing as well. I'm gonna be getting my series five cards from Spotlight Caches, buying 3,000 token cards, um, straight to series four cards, all right? So next up is Iron Lad. Iron Lad is a fantastic card, but it is also overhyped, or it was more overhyped. Like when Iron Lad came out, everyone was like, oh my God, best card ever, best card ever. 
like it's it's all right right it's a four six stat line it copies the top card of your deck um this variant i'm like meh on so i'm not going to be like trying to open it so whatever but iron lad is a decent card it opens up a lot of possibilities for you so you can basically get a double a lot of people are um using it right now on like like an iron patriot list i hate that list i think that list is garbage but there's a lot of cool stuff um that iron iron lad can copy so if you're interested in that definitely check it out Kang Kang is the first big bad that's gonna be the spotlight caches like skip it just skip it <laughs> unless you just like have a thing for collecting the big bads go for it but Kang is pretty much useless he doesn't make any deck like really really good you know even a galactus deck it's whatever waste your time waste my time waste everybody's time just pass on Kang this variant too I got the best Kang variant in my opinion so that's out of here all right so the next week of July 25th all right this one right here so we got Legion high evolutionary dark Hawk so this is the first week where I am just I'm passing okay so like this first week i got gene gray i bought gene gray with tokens and i really wanted this variant so i got the variant in my first pull so now i'm just i was able to save the rest of my caches next week i'm going to try to pull echo hopefully get her my first pull you know that's that's always the ideal if you only want one thing hopefully you get the first but this week right here like legion i could not care less about this card i i've said it before i think he's gonna he's gonna be a lot like um like snow guard where it's just gonna be useless. It's gonna be useless uh, just depending on locations. Like being dependent on that is just so ridiculous to me. I don't know why they even make cards like that. Now, this hurts my soul because I would not open a single cache this week because I already have Dark Hawk and I already have High Evolutionary, but I love Max Grex so much. And I love I love this uh, this variant. So right now I'm personally on the fence because High Evolutionary, you don't really play the card. So it's kind of like just for my own enjoyment. Do I really want to spend a high uh, or a, a, a spotlight cash trying to get this um, variant that I'm for a card I'm never going to play, right? Even in high evolutionary decks, you just don't play it. But for all of you out there who have been upset that uh, Dark Hawk did not drop down in series, now's your chance. Now's your chance to get it. The variant, it's all right. But um, like, uh, yeah, if you don't have Dark Hawk, this is your time. This is your time to get Dark Hawk. Go ahead, do it. All right, so <clears throat> August 1st, we have Mirage Thanos Master Mold. Mirage is gonna be a great card. It's basically a uh, a much, much better version than Cable. So Mirage takes your opponent's lowest cost card and it gives it plus two. So this is gonna be good in a variety of scenarios. Um, this variant's kind of sick, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, Mirage, so Mirage and Legion, they're both uh, straight to series four cards. So um, Mirage, I'll be buying with tokens. And then personally, I won't be opening, I won't open any caches this week just because I'm gonna buy Mirage with tokens. And I already have Thanos, I already have Master Mold. I don't really like these variants. Thanos, another big bad, like if you don't have Thanos, like try to get him, try to get him. Like it, it he is the most just, it. it is like probably, even though I don't play Thanos that much anymore, it is probably my favorite card in the game, all right? Just the opportunities it opens up for you. Like if you ever just get bored with Marvel Snap, just make Thanos decks, right? You just put Thanos in a bunch of different decks. There's so many different ways to play Thanos. And like, it's just, it's just fun. It's just really, really, really fun. So if you don't have Thanos, get them. Master Mold, um, if you don't have Master Mold for some reason, uh, He's, he's decent. He's decent. It opens up like a whole new type of deck for you, a Ronin deck, right? And there are some decent decks. There are Ronin decks that will definitely get you, uh, well, if, as long as you know how to play the deck, all right? Um, but that will definitely get you to like infinite or get you to infinity conquest and stuff like that. Master Mold with Ronin can be a solid uh, card. The most successful decks though are Ronin and uh, Darkhawk. So keep that in mind like if you don't have dark hawk then maybe not get master mode like ronin by itself it's like it's like iffy all right all right <clears throat> so the first week uh uh well actually the second week of august august 8th right here we got galactus nimrod spider ham all right so the reason you're not seeing a brand new card is because 
It's the start of the new season, so they don't put the season pass card in here. So Galactus, um, I think it's kind of cool they're putting Galactus and Nimrod because those two go together pretty well, all right? But yeah, if you do want Galactus, now's your chance. If you don't have Galactus, Galactus is still a very viable card. So like, if you wanna get him, um, and uh, there's a lot less shaming around Galactus now, so feel free to do it. Um, Nimrod, if you missed out on the season pass, go for it if you're a fan of Destroy decks. Like, Nimrod is an insane card. Like, this new thing people have been doing lately where they Nimrod on uh, five, and then they Venom and Carnage on turn six. I hate going up against it. I hate going up against it so much. They just get Nimrods all over the board. So, like, if you're a fan of Destroy decks, go for it. Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham is just... It's one of the best one drops in the game. It's disruptive. Um, and like, it's it's just, it, it gives you information as well. By the way, that's one thing I forgot to mention about Mirage. Mirage is gonna give you information. That's the other thing that makes this card very, very good. All right, but Spider-Ham, yeah, definitely definitely get it. Like if, like Spider-Ham is one of the best cards being released in this. Like one that we've seen play from, like Spider-Ham. If you don't have Spider-Ham, now is your chance to get this card. Well, not now, but August 8th. You know what I mean. All right. Okay. So now we're going into the new season, August 15th. We got Lady Deathstroke, Modoc, and Stature. Uh, Lady Deathstroke, she is going to be an interesting card. Um, so on reveal, destroy each card here with less power than this. It'll be an interesting card, but I'm just not sure if... Uh, It'll be as good as we're hoping. Um, <laughs> it's a 5-3. So, like, I just, I don't know what the strategy is for that. Like, I don't know if it's, like, Mr. Negative or what. Like, um, personally, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be waiting uh, throughout that week, seeing how other people play the card, what deck it's good in, and all that kind of stuff. And then I will uh, make a decision. Um, then we got Modoc and Stature kind of go to well, not really they don't go together all right they both discard have something to do with discard modok it's it's a fantastic card if you like discard you need modok if you didn't get it in the season pass get it stature also an amazing card stature is a fantastic card the video i was going to do today was going to be on a stature list because this card is still bonkers good i have won so many tickets in conquest mode with stature so if you're a fan of discard get modok if you're a fan of winning get stature <laughs> discard decks are pretty decent they're pretty decent i've been playing a lot of discard this week um maybe i'll post a deck highlight but yeah they're fun um <clears throat> all right now we have x23 i wish i could oh okay cool i can hover over these things thank god all right so anyways x23 when this card is discarded or destroyed, regenerate it at a random location and you get plus one energy. So you can like, kind of like get energy on a regular basis if you're playing destroy. Um, does this say what series this is going into? I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't know if they've released that information yet. Let's, 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 let's check something real quick. Let's check something for science real quick. Has that just not been data mined? No, this does not say what series it's in, does it? Unless I'm missing something. Huh, that sucks. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not sure which one of these August cards are gonna be um, going. But anyways, uh, X23 is gonna be decent. We also got Nebula and Silk. Nebula is a fantastic one drop. It's comparable to Spider-Ham. Um, sits on a lane by itself. You can do all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of cool things, especially if you like playing lockdown decks, go for it. Um, Silk. Silk, I think, is a bit overrated. I love this variant, though. I love this variant so much. So depending on what my personal cash situation is like, I might do it. But like, as far as like playability, making decks better, you know, when Silk came out, a lot of people were like, oh, oh, it's like, it's like Lizard, but better. It's like Lizard, but better. Like, nah, dude, nah. Like, I have had so much, like, I've played so much Silk. There are so many bad things that can happen with Silk. Just so many. Just, you can't rely on where her five power is going to go. You're rarely ever in a situation where you're just like, oh, if I get five power anywhere, I'm going to be fine. That's very rarely the case. In a lot of cases, you're like, I need five power here or I'm going to lose. And you have Silk just bouncing around. If you... uh 
if you have priority, you're screwed because when your opponent drops cards, um, it's gonna move Silk again, so you have even less control. So keep that in mind. It's a decent card, and like I'm a little more harsh on Silk than a lot of other people, but like, I don't know, man. I, I don't think I would waste uh, Spotlight Cash on her. All right, like just watch people play a lot before you before you grab Silk. All right, next up, Silver Samurai. This card I'm pretty stoked on. Pretty stoked on it. Each player discards the lowest power card from their hand. So this is um, another enabler for stature, which is sick, which is absolutely sick. Oh, why did we do that? Why do we do that? Where do we go? Okay, anyways, it's another enabler for stature. That's awesome, okay? And you have more control over it than you do with um, uh, like a Moon Knight. So Silver Samurai is going to um, disrupt your opponent while also benefiting like stature. Uh, and we're gonna be able to start doing like stature swarm list like this Silver Samurai, I think is like a must get. I think it's a must get. Like I'm thinking of just decks like where you can do like a Colleen wing and swarm and silver samurai, but even like the stature list, the stature list are typically running like a dark hawk too with Zabu. And we have silver samurai as like a, a, a four cost card. Like I am super, super stoked on this card. Like I can't wait. Um, this is just my opinion, but I am using a cash on this card. Like, this is not one of those random ones. Like, you know, it's discarding your lowest cost card. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a crazy card. Um, next, Kitty Pride. So maybe leave a comment down below. Like Kitty Pride was made available to everybody, but was that only if you were playing the game at that time or is it just like straight to series three now? How does that work? Anyways, um, I spent 1200 uh, gold on a uh, Kitty Pride variant, uh, this one, this one right here. I love it. I just inked it up, and now we have this variant coming. And I've been waiting on this variant for so long. So, not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna open up a few caches just to make sure I get this variant too. I love it. I love it. We got the dragon in full view right there. That's just me. Spider Man 2099. Listen, Miguel O'Hara. He's my boy, he's my dude, but this card sucks. This card is, it, it's terrible. I was super excited about it and like, I don't know, man. It's just so hard to like enable um, and it's it's choosing a random card to destroy, you know, like, and, and I always tell you guys, like just really pay attention, really pay attention to what people are like promoting on. I, I think this card was overhyped a bit too. Like people were hyping up, you don't see anybody playing this card, it's just, a real pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. So get Silver Samurai. Uh, I don't know if you, it's possible that you don't have Kitty, but I'm going for the variant. But um, if you don't have Kitty Pride, like if that's not the case, if not everybody has Kitty, like, yo, get get Kitty Pride. She's like one of the best cards in the game. Like such a good card. All right. <clears throat> so the last week we have is Jeff, Ghost Spider, and Null. So we have Null being repeated again. Um, not sure why, but here's another variant for those of you who like Null variants. Um, but Jeff, like, you guys got to wait a little bit longer so they, they never drop Jeff down. Uh, what is he? I think he's still Series 5 or something. But Jeff, also one of the best cards in the game. And I think there's something to be said, like, uh, Second Dinner is putting, like, some of the best cards in these spotlight caches to start, which I think is very, very cool. So if you don't have Jeff, get Jeff. Um, I'm I'm personally waiting on the Gwenpool variant. Uh, those of you who have not seen that, uh, it is this one right here. How fantastic is that? And there was a data mine for Gwenpool a while back. I don't know when it's coming or whatever, but it seems like we're getting Gwenpool too. But that's besides the point. This is a, a great variant. Dan Hip, you're my boy, but I don't want this variant. Um, <laughs> then... There's the whole ghost spider conundrum. Uh, I love Venomized ghost spider. I just think it looks so cool. Well, me, um, I spent 1200 tokens on this beautiful Venomized ghost spider. And uh, yeah, now this new one is coming out right here. This new one is coming out. 
And I also just realized that this is a variant that exists. And this one is so sick. Look, we even got Venom in the background. So yeah, I, uh, I need this one. I, I really need this one. But this other one is pretty dope too. Did this just turn into like a variant video? I don't know. <laughs> I love all of the Venomized Ghost Fighters. I love them so much. So yeah, I might be cracking open some just to get, uh, just to try to get this. I don't know. I don't know. I might not. I might not. I might. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I got until September 5th to decide. We'll see what my, see what my situation, see what my situation's like. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to check this out, they also have um, like the upcoming cards for September, which is going to be the Loki season. Um, and then some for October, which we have like, kind of like, uh, um, like the werewolf by night thing. I don't even know what to call it because it was like a show, like a one episode show that came out last October. And now they're like a year later and like, Oh, let's do this. And then for some reason, let's type, uh, toss in black Knight into here. I don't know. Now we're getting weird. Now we're getting weird. Anyways, check out these lists. Um, these are just my opinions on it. I hope it helped. Uh, someone when I was streaming said, Chris, I would love to know your thoughts, even though everybody else is making videos. I'm like, you make a point You make a good point. All right. So let me know down in the comments. What are you saving your cash up for? What are you, what is your cash strategy? I think personally, like as a whale who has a bunch of tokens saved up too, and like being able to like look ahead, like there's definitely some cards that I'm just going to be skipping. There's some weeks that I'm going to be skipping. Um, ideally you get what you want in the first pull. So you're not got to worry about other stuff. Cause I'm going to get some variants of things that I just don't want, but there are definite weeks. I'm going to be just, just completely skipping. And that like, I like this system because you can skip weeks and then you can carry your caches over to other ones. So it's like, it's not like hoarding. It's like, uh, it, it's like strategy. It's like this like hoarding strategy, right? Like people were hoarding like tokens and stuff before and just had no plan. It's like, oh, maybe I'll see a card that I like someday. Like this is like strategic hoarding. You know what I mean? You're able to look ahead and say, okay, I'm saving catches. I don't want anything this week. You know, it's like, uh, it's like saving your money. It's like saving your money for like a big investment later on, right? Just be patient, hang on to your stuff, you know, whatever. But anyways, that's my strategy. Um, I'll be buying most series three, but there are, uh, there's definitely cards I'm going to be skipping in the future, like Deathstroke X23, X23. I don't even think I'll get, even if it does seem good, um, just because it's like a destroy card. Uh, and I just really, really don't enjoy destroy decks. It might change with the new card Dakin, uh, cause that card seems pretty dope. But anyways, that's a whole other video. We'll talk about it when the season comes up. All right. But anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like these? Do you want me to do more videos like these? Give you my thoughts. Cause I always think about doing like tier lists and stuff like that. I just don't know if you guys want them. So let me know down, down in the comments. If you care to have my opinion or you want me to stick to another content, whatever I'm here for you, baby. All right. But that's all I got for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, uh, join our discord server. A lot of cool people in there and make sure you're Follow me on Twitter at Bootman MSTZ. Everything you need is linked down in the description below. You can also follow me on threads at Bootman MSTZ. I should probably put that in the description as well. We'll see if I remember. All right, but thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.